Hello Aries, welcome back to the channel, Fiery Falcon Tarot. This is going to be your July monthly reading for the sign of Aries. Sorry for you guys reading being delayed, I was sick. Um, had a cold, uh, still kind of coughing here and there, sniffling here and there, so if you hear that, please forgive me. Um, without any further delay, let's begin your reading. Uh, Aries, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning to my channel, welcome. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and or comment for sure if this resonates with you in any kind of way or if you feel in my vibe and you feel like you connect with me and my channel. Um, pl please be sure to hit the subscribe button and definitely like, all right, and leave a comment. So let's dive into your messages here. I think we're going to go with a deck that we haven't used in a while. You know what? We'll actually pull y'all a technology. I'm sorry, Aries. I wasn't really sure which decks I was going to use, but I'm feeling guided to pull the Moonology deck. Um, and the Divine Abundance of deck, okay? So let's get into it. Alright. Aries, is somebody in a committed relationship? Are you in a committed relationship? But looking outside of the relationship? Or it could be you or someone you're dealing with. I don't know why. I was just led to read that to you guys. But let's get into your messages here. This is for July. This could resonate with you if you have Aries anywhere in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. South Node and or North Node. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Messages for Aries. Please and thank you. I am recording on two different devices. Oh shit, what am I talking about? Usually I'm on camera, but I, I'm not today. Um, and this is the reason why. Um, so I am going to be uploading on my TikTok. And that's why I'm recording from two different devices today. Alright. Alright, Aries. Messages for you guys for the month of July. Moonology Oracle deck first. Alright, we'll take those that flipped out over there. At the bottom, it says, hold your vision, fixed moon. Are you guys dealing with a fixed sign, or do you have a fixed energy in your placement? All right. Let's take a look. This could be you or someone that you're connected with. All right. We have expect power for change, new moon eclipse. And we says, don't let your pride get in the way, full moon in Leo. So you are Aries sun with the Leo moon, possibly. Okay, again, that fixed energy there. So you guys could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, or an Aquarius. Or you may have Leo, Taurus, or Aquarius placements in your chart. All right, so someone is definitely dealing with some type of fixed energy here. Now, when I picked these cards up, you guys, they were in the reverse. So some of you guys, I feel like the universe is trying to guide you guys towards some type of a powerful change. But for some reason, I feel like you guys are not allowing this change to happen for you guys. So what's going on, Aries? Why are you blocking out your blessing here? You're blocking out the possibilities of creating something new. And I feel like it's your pride in the way. Are you guys um, uh, holding a grudge or something like that or not wanting to forgive someone? Because I feel like once you guys do this and come forward with some type of communication, I feel like this is going to release a portion of the blockage. Mind you, I said a portion of the blockage. So that's going to be the gateway to catapult in this powerful change into your life. All right. So I don't know if you're holding a grudge with someone, if you were, uh, okay, dealing with someone's wife. Because again, I'm in a committed relationship at the bottom of the other Oracle deck there. So if you are dealing with someone that's in a committed relationship and you know that you shouldn't be, okay, you may need to apologize here. Or maybe someone's trying to apologize to you. But you're allowing your pride to hold back forward movement. So whatever it is for you guys, all right? Let's see. We are using the Light Sears Tarot deck, by the way. Yeah, we got judgment at the bottom of the deck here. All right? So this is something, again, universe is calling for you guys to have some type of change in your life, your atmosphere. Yeah, look. Five of, five of swords and the two of wands. It's like they're like waiting on you like Aries. When are you going to make this change? When are you going to step up outside of... Your pride zone is kind of what I'm hearing here. All right? It's like a no-fly zone. It's like you guys are just like, you know, so fixated on just not doing something, either not apologizing to someone, not communicating with someone. And it's like, come on, guys. 
You're only causing yourself like mental stress and anxiety here about this change, the two of wands. See the two of wands here is talking about someone needing to make some type of change, all right? You needing to go into that water, the water of healing, the water of clarity, all right? And it's like, if you guys don't do that, then it's like, how are you going to allow this change to come in and take forth into your life? Some of you guys, you're stressing out about jumping in the water. Is it too hot? Is it too cold? Am I going to like it over there? Right? And it's like, if God is saying that there is a new, right, again, there is a change that the universe is trying to implement into your lives, but you guys are resisting it. I don't know. Maybe you're having to go back to ask someone for help and you said you would never do it. Or whatever your story is. I don't know. I would never talk to this person. I would never work with this person. I would never want to, you know, be a part of this person's existence here. Because it's like, look at this person back here. It's like someone that just, you know, you feel like it stresses you out. But is it really stressing you out or is it just simple miscommunication? Is it someone that you're just not taking time and patience to understand where they're at and where they're coming from and how they think you got to understand guys like we're not people are not going to really always think the way that we think or see things from a perspective that we are seeing it from because they're not you we're all uniquely different so you sometimes you might have to have a little bit of patience with someone to you know communicate clearly is what i'm hearing here so just because you may say something that doesn't necessarily mean that that person fully understands or comprehends what it is exactly you're saying and what exactly does it mean right so we we have to be a little bit more understanding of that and and you know vice versa right because again we have judgment at the bottom of the deck here all right so maybe this is something that spirit is your spirit is calling for you to do this right and it's a part of you that's like why yeah look knight of swords your spirit is calling you guys to do it but you guys are holding back. You're so resentful. Yeah, Ace of Cups. To go and apologize. To go and say, you know, little brother, little sister, you know, I get it. I understand. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Because it's stressing you out to not have this person in your life or this connection in your life or whatever it is, right? Or you're stressing out. Yeah, the moon at the bottom of the deck now. You guys are stressed. Someone is stressing out about some type of communication here. A change that's needing to be made here, whether it's you, this Leo, this Pisces, right? It's kind of what I'm getting, or maybe the Sag. Um, it could be anybody, really, but those are the energies that are showing up. All right, what else for Aries? Or maybe, maybe it not be an apology, right? Maybe this is just something that you've been desiring to, to do in your lives, right? To make some type of change, but yet... It's like this person that talks big shit. Like, are you going to stop talking shit or are you going to take action? Right? Are you really going to leave the job or are you going to keep complaining about the job? Yeah, Knight of Wands. Are you going to take action here? Right? Are you going to leap towards the new opportunity here? Or are you going to stay here and stress out about wishing you had an opportunity here? And it's like God's giving you the answer to something here. Yeah, Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups. Right? And the Hermit only for there. Alright, so it could be a Virgo for some of you guys. Alright, so but we have, wow, the Lovers. The Seven of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. For some of you guys, you're being pulled towards this person here. And you guys are resenting it. So for some of you guys, it is definitely love, right? Or this is something that you may love to do. Alright? And, and you're, like, fighting it here. Or, you know, maybe Spirit is just saying, like, look, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Like, you can definitely do what you love to do. Right here. Lover, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Right? If it's a job or career for some of you guys, you know, Spirit is saying that they're going to give you an opportunity. Like, they're going to make it possible so that you can really, you know, have these things in your life. I feel like some of you guys are just overthinking about it or just like over processing it. You're just putting too much thought into it and not enough action here. Knight of Swords, right? This could be someone from your past that you guys are wanting to communicate with here. This could be someone that you possibly work with with the Seven of Pentacles here, all right? That you, you maybe have seen, you know, 
all the possibilities with this person here. But again, look, it's beneath the dirt here. So it hasn't even gotten to the surface level here. This connectionship or this partnership or whatever it could have been for some of you guys, right? For some of you, it's a relationship. For some of you, it's work-related, right? Whether that's uh, it being employed for someone or you being employed for yourself. Take it how it resonates. Or maybe this is someone that you were trying to, you know grow with here because you know we see the hand going towards the plant and this is a newly a, something that was newly started or newly created here but i feel like something didn't really grow into what it all could have been is what i'm getting here right because the five of swords is here someone is stressing out here or about again contacting reaching out with someone that you were once affiliated with with the six of cups all right work or love right could have been a Gemini here. Doesn't say have to been, right? Could be an Earth sign again. Taurus energy is here. Doesn't necessarily matter. Could be anybody or anything here, but I definitely feel like there is something here. Where is my little? Where is my mini deck? Oh, okay. I'm using this deck here. Uh, yeah, the four of wands. So, and for some of you guys, this is someone that you actually have grown love for. And maybe some of you guys could be with someone, right? And you're not understanding why you're still thinking about this person here. Five of swords. This person is still on your mind, weighing heavy on your heart here with the lovers. And the ace of cups that showed up. For some reason, you still want to be, you are still connected to this person's energy right this is what i'm getting and you have the crow there in your ear right so i feel like spirit is making you discomfort with something or uncomfortable with something here because maybe you're again there's no movement here but i feel like for some of you guys there are going to be there will be movement here in the very near future this is calling for july 2023 this is a timeless reading so whenever you see it is meant for you to see it or some of you guys, this is why you're not moving, right? So take it how it resonates. If you've been stagnated and, like I said, wishing and wondering and hoping on the star that something changes around in your life here, and it's like spirit is like, you know, we've, we've, we've given you multiple hints, multiple signs here, Aries, that to, to just basically go, basically go for it, go do it, Knight of Swords here, go make that call, go send that resume, you know, send that text, whatever, reply to that email, whatever it is you got to do here. What's the three of wands? No matter of fact, hold up, hold up, spirit. What's the five of swords here? What is the five of swords for Aries? What is it that Aries is stressed out about here? What's going on with Aries? These those fell right out the deck. King of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you're, you're being pressured here to commit, is what I'm hearing. Um, oh, we got the ace of swords and we got the two of swords. Okay. So yeah, this is weighing heavy on a lot of a lot of my Aries heart here. So two and three is, or two and one, excuse me, is three three of swords, right? So which is eight of swords again? Is you guys holding yourselves back here? What is it that you're afraid of? All right, what is it that you're afraid of? What's the three of wands here for Aries spirit? Damn, the lovers, the lovers. Oh, let me show it on the side. There it is. It says lovers. Oop, it almost fell out my hand. So I feel like this is someone, lovers, lovers. This is a powerful past life connection. Or this is a powerful partnership here. Whatever. All right. This is powerful. What's the lovers on the two of wands for Aries? Stressing out to commit. Or stressing out about a person here because again you can't get the person off your mind no matter how much you try to avoid it not look at it not see it page of cups here so again this could just be a simple miscommunication page of cups and the ace of wands so now you guys have two aces showing up for you guys the ace of wands and the ace of cups we have the five of swords sideways so see i feel like someone's ready to let the eagle down i feel like this is crossing here so let's see if we get something up right here I feel like this is what spirit wants you to do. They want you to give in to this. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Again, go for it. So if your heart is telling you, Aries, to contact someone, to reach out to someone, damn, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. 
Now all the aces have showed up for you guys. Ace of swords on the table, ace of cups showed up, ace of wands, and here's the ace of pentacles. So again, this is a destined thing, a destined partnership that the universe is wanting you guys to commit to, wanting you guys to work on. We saw the Knight of Pentacles showing up here. Spirit is wanting you guys to give this some type of opportunity here. I'm hearing another chance because the judgment can be an opportunity of second chances here. All right. So what is on the Knight of Swords here is the Three of Swords and the Six of Swords. Yeah, it's going to be spirit is edging you guys to go and communicate about this. Have this tough conversation here. I'm hearing a tough talk here, right? Because someone is going to be humble, right? Someone now understands or maybe the universe has sat that person down and said, look, this is what was trying to accomplish for you. This is what was trying to happen for you. And I feel like with that page of cups here, someone has truly been shown the truth. The ace of swords is here. Right? And I feel like this person is going to honestly let you know, you see, like I didn't really look at it like that, Aries. You know, I didn't really understand Aries because I felt like whatever, the moon card was there. I felt like there was things that just wasn't adding up. Things just weren't making sense to me. Things appear to be a little sketchy, you know, whatever. Yeah, there is something here about work. Eight of Pentacles. What's the lovers here for Aries? Please and thank you for July 2023. Oh, I'm sorry, and happy holiday to those that celebrate the uh, holiday. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so you guys have the Ace of Cups shooting out. Oh, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. Man. And we have some cards here as well. We have the Chariot, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups again. So again, you guys are getting repeating cards here. Spirit really wants you to work with this. Go and work on this. The Chariot, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. I feel like once this communication takes place, things are going to be hashed out. The understanding is going to be there. The clarity is going to be there. And I feel like things are going to be able to go ahead and get back on track is what I'm hearing. Things will resemble or resume. All right. So the seven of pentacles, you guys have the seven of pentacles coming out. We have the six of cups again. We have the seven of pentacles here. Is it worth to squeeze? Is this person really worth working with? Do I really want this person? And I feel like a part of you do. The chariot card is here. All right. The chariot and I feel like this person wants to make this work too now because again I feel like this person with the ace of swords above this at one point in time this person was conf didn't really understand the two of swords there that's not really fully having a full insight about something how something worked how something is done here whatever the case may be the truth about what was really taking place I'm not really sure but someone along the, along your path here was uncertain here again here's that moon above the person head all right so something something could be communi communication could be taking place maybe uh in cancer season for some of uh, my aries here yeah we got the three of cups i'm telling you three of cups what's the six of cups and the three of cups here And we have the high priestess here. So someone is spirit guys is leading them towards this. We have the strength here, the page of swords, the death, and the high priestess here. So again, this is this person having the ego death. You see it here? The strength card. This is ego. This is a strength card followed up by the death card here, right? And the high priestess is the angels giving on this card is just one person here. Look like Again, tarot, spirit ball, right? Again, someone's had some type of spiritual download here about the truth. This person has had an ego death. So I feel like this person has learned. Yep, ten of swords. This person has learned. Learned the hard way, but they learned. Yep, seven of wands. This part person may have blocked you, or you may have blocked this person, or just written off this person. With the moon in the reverse here, this person... Uh, like I said, shadow side has been dropped. All right, it has been stripped again. Their ego has been stepped 
to the side. <laughs> has been put to the side. Why did I say it like that? Step to the side. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I feel like someone is anticipating this, whether this is you or the person. But the anticipation is definitely here. Um, Let's go to Kipper real quick for Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Truly grateful. Anything else from Kipper? we got bad health coming out. All right. No need to fray, okay, is what I'm getting here. Message of concern. Um, it could be as simple as I'm hearing like a blood clot for some, some, someone message of concern. We have an official person when we have the lovers. Um, so I mean, the communication appears that it could happen because I can't predict free will Aries. Okay. Yeah. We have a journey here, so you may need to travel or there will be traveling to meet with this person here. All right. Someone may be traveling because someone may have a health scare okay i do see that happening as well could be with your father is what i'm hearing um and we have the house okay someone could be losing a home or letting go of a home okay or relocating okay home but we also have coffin here so again i'm getting the energy of an ego death or the energy of Again, someone could be losing a property, losing a home, okay? Um, I don't know. It could be due to, or someone could pass away in the home, okay? So with this bad health here, um, now I don't actually have all the cards for me as a reader that will indicate a death, but it is possible, okay? With some of the energy that is here, it is possible, Um but anyway, uh, some of you guys, you may need to change homes for this new energy to take place here with you, uh, for this new journey or this new opportunity here. So for some of you guys, there is a missed, there was a missed opportunity with the judgment showing up. All right, for you guys, for some of you guys, this is with a relationship or with like I'm getting like um, a relationship or like a business ship. So I don't know what it was, whether it was a you were networking with someone, partnering with someone, or this was like a job that you were working at or something like that. But there was something like that. Anything else here for my Aries? Ooh, okay, we have high honor. All right. So I'm getting like whatever was lost will be restored here. Yeah, we have child at the bottom of the deck here. So for some of you guys, you're supposed to have a baby with this person. Distant horizon, toll and labor. Okay, main female and the lovers again. I can't make it up. So I feel like spirit is trying to get you back together and look at the rabbit. He's like this like this is not supposed to happen. Like you were supposed to be born already. So I feel like the angels are like, you know, trying to get this back together. Cause I feel like for some of you guys you're supposed to have a spiritual baby with this person. Now whether the business is the baby or it's an actual physical baby, I don't know. Um yeah, courtship, I'm telling you. Once this communication is discussed, I feel like this is going to, you know, pick back up. We have mature woman. Okay. We also have unexpected income and we have judication. So some of you guys may be going through a divorce or needing to disconnect from a third party um, in order to be with this person. For those of you that it's like strictly a relationship. And for some of you guys, I do see that it's like a partnership and slash relationship that is supposed to come together here. There's supposed to be a spiritual baby here with this individual here. Um, yeah. Again, someone that you work with, tolls and labors, and child, okay? Some of you guys may work around children or work with children as well, too. Or you may be desiring to do so, but maybe you're um, a radiologist and, and you, like, fucking hate your job. I don't know. Take how it resonates or whatever the case may be. But I'm definitely getting, like there is like a spiritual baby here okay like for sure 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 see look look like this lady hates this job like this doesn't make you feel like a child this doesn't make you feel like free and innocent it is this this looks like it actually feels like work so for some of you guys you may need to go do something that make you feel like a child right maybe some of you guys it could be creating children's beds or creating doll houses. I don't know. Writing plays. Journaling. I'm not really sure. 
an editor or something like that here. But you're not doing what you're truly happy and what you truly love doing. That's what I do now. All right, but moving on. Messages for Aries, please and thank you, Spirit, before we close this out. But for some of you guys, again, the first cards were in the reverse here. So, yeah, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So for some of you guys, you're already in this separation here. Wedding, this situation involves a marriage and it has flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. All right, and we're going to read the ones that fell out. Oh, and look behind that. We got release your ex. Okay. All right. So for some of you guys, you just simply flat out need to get rid of this past person here because, again, you're not truly fulfilled there and you thinking that you are. But again, you're in this fixed energy. So again, you could be an Aries, uh, Sun sign, Leo, Moon. Okay. Or it could be a Leo that you're dealing with here. It, it really could be anybody. We have romantic feelings. Oh, my God. Uh, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, again, some of you guys have been thinking about this person with the Five of Swords. And you just like, why the fuck can't I get this person off of my mind? It's because God don't want you to have that person off your mind. Because you guys are supposed to be together. Now, the Emperor and the Empress energy didn't really show up. So, I feel like this is something that really didn't even take place here. I feel like there was an abrupt disconnect in this, whatever, that the Spirit was trying to bring together. This union. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay? There you go. So, some of you guys were with someone when this person came into your lives at some point in some time. And you were just like, you know, maybe you did feel something, right? And you denied your feelings because you're like I'm with someone I've been with this person for 15 years this is my person no this person got to be with me because they've been here since day one they done yada 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 blah 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 we have no limitations you are a celestial being with unlimited potential there is much for you to share okay so or maybe some of you guys might just be like a workaholic and like you know gaslighting a bunch of people because you feel like you can't share you're not abundant enough uh, Gaia, it says, connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. Again, Spirit is wanting you guys to be in the energy of allowing, going with the flow, and just allow this change to organically happen. Allow this communication to organically happen. Expect the powerful changes right here. But with don't let your pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo. All right, so just allow it to happen. Just let, it, just let go and let it happen, baby. Just let go and let it happen, baby. <laughs> we got blue flame. It says connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. Yes, we have to act out of love, be with love. Besides, I mean, what's wrong with a little loving, right? Loving fixes everything. It makes it all better. Look, Taurus was one on tables. I will pick any cars up. So again, you guys could have Taurus placement. Could be dealing with the Taurus. I don't know. I cry over you. I cry over you. So maybe you guys cry over this person. Now it may not be physical tears, but you know, you may just get saddened when you think about that person, right? Or this person thinks about feels like this when they think about you. We got breakup. Again, there was a breakup here. All right. Messages for Aries, please and thank you. Well, we got Gemini coming out. All right. So you may have Gemini placements in your chart. We do have text mail. So again, if you've been thinking about texting this person and you're just fighting it like I'm not texting that person, just go ahead and text them. Right. You don't never know what someone's going through or dealing with. But I do feel like it's going to be a, it's going to be received this time around. Look, divine woman. It's in the reverse. So this person could have, you know, gotten a little low, right, in their energy here. But that doesn't change the fact that this is your divine partner. Um, we have Taurus at the bottom of the deck again. Uh, yeah. And we have Leo here. 
So I don't know. You guys could be being influenced here by a Taurus. A Taurus could be like, no, don't fuck with that motherfucker. Don't get out of the motherfucker. No more chances here. So Taurus, no more chances here. So I don't know. If that's the case, you need to stop listening to this Taurus. This Taurus is actually jealous of this person. We got weird as fuck. So this person, again, could be like, yeah, don't talk to this. And look, Leo here. <laughs> so there is a Leo somewhere here, Aries. Like either you got Leo placements or this is possibly a Leo for some of you guys that you're wanting to communicate with or go towards or be with or what the fuck ever work with, whatever the fuck it is. Um, but you could have a Taurus here that is... Um, a divine woman in reverse so this is person that's not divine right again this is a person that's of low vibrational energy this is the person here that's causing this five of swords energy between you and this leo you and this um pisces whatever the fuck whoever the person is right so i feel like that's what's going on here this taurus is the problem right and needs to be exiled immediately so we have email. So someone again could text you, could email you. All right, we have next. So okay, um, I like them all on Tuesday. So someone could have been getting around and getting around and getting around, or someone could have told you that this person does that. I don't know, but I'm saying like you will always have a negative person here that will try to deviate you from which truly where you're truly supposed to be, because out of um you know, jealousy, right? Five of swords is a low vibrational person here, right? This person could have be creating emails here or falsifying documents to make it seem like it came from that person when it could have very well been this towards this divine woman in the reverse. So this person is not of the light. She's they're in the reverse here. Divine woman in the reverse, a woman that is abundant and in the light and of God will not do that type of thing right so you need to watch the circle the people that you have around your circle right with the wheel of fortune here your circle because someone's trying to again five of swords someone's trying to block this connection block this union someone wants to go towards that the two of wands the lovers the wheel of fortune ace of pentacles but the five of swords is here that came out sideways someone i don't know if y'all can hear that i don't know if it's a siren or a police car but it's going by, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but that's what I'm getting here, Aries. So watch the company you keep because someone that you think is for you is really not for you is what I'm kind of getting. All right. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and or subscribe. Before we go, let's get you guys a crystal to potentially work. Spirit wants you to work with and we are out of here. All right. We have titanium rainbow quartz and it says multifaceted faceted there are many layers of dimensions to this situation or person you're asking about exactly this person you're not seeing all sides of this person whoever that person is whoever that father source is that taurus that um gemini the capricorn um the scorpio it could be anybody, right? And I think I said Aquarius earlier. We have Yellow Jasper. It says control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. All right. So again, use your God-given strength and power here, Aries. Go and get the person that you want to talk to. Reach out to that person. Uh, Repatch things or whatever the case may be that, that happened to disconnect with you and that person. Break up. Replace that because, again, I do feel like this is a soulmate and also a divine partnership here that God truly wants you to be a part of here. All right. I feel like when y'all are intimate, if you have not been, when you do, it's going to be like a blue flame. It's going to be like something that you ain't never felt before. And that's why the spirit baby is waiting to be born. Mm. Let's, um, because now y'all got me got me curious here real quick Aries and we getting out of here messages from here within the next few months okay so for some of you guys it could be a little longer I'm here in like between cancer season and like um Libra season all right trust is coming out here oh shit we got trust so trust the process here and we have let go again let go of the 
ego, let go of the control issues, let go of, you know, maybe how people are going to view you, see you, whatever. Oh, oh, okay. That was a bit much. Yeah, because look, Spirit said there is something better. They want to give you what's better, okay? Not the right time. I flipped it over. It's in the reverse, so the time is now. Um, yeah, reconsider at the bottom here, and I'm going to pick up all these cards that fell. Now, we probably won't take all those cards, but let's see. There's only like five, maybe. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on a second. Let's see. We'll flip those for you guys. We have, yeah, look, take action. What did I say? I said take action. Knight of Swords. Come on now. We got no. Don't wait no goddamn longer. It's time to go now. Um, ask others for help. Don't you dare. You be woman enough. You be man enough to go take care of business on your own. If you ain't talking to your angel, don't talk to nobody. Because I'm telling you, someone's going to tell you some five of swords shit. Um, yes, this is the truth. Again, ace of swords. And no need to worry. Again, Aries, it's going to be, it's, it was received, okay? It's right here. This ego death that this person needed to have, they had it. Whether it was you or them. But there was ego death here. And someone now see clearly. Someone now understands. All right, so again, watch the company you keep, Aries. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Like, share, and or subscribe. Be sure to go to TikTok and follow there as well, too, because um, I'll be posting some content that is not really here on there. So, I don't know. Just go follow. Love you guys. Take care.